Okay, this is part 11 update. As we left off before, we finished the uh, front suspension and I got it mocked up and it in fact determined that we needed to widen the, the front by four inches. Also, I needed to raise the whole front suspension up by an inch and a half, and that allowed me the wheel wells to look a little bit better, so I got that done. <coughs> Managed to uh, sand and prime the rest of the chassis and mount the front suspension and put in the steering rack. Now, while the Camaro or Firebird steering rack was fine for the Diablo. The widened front end required me to extend the tie rods to connect the tie rod ends. So I sleeved the tie rod ends and extended them so that they now match. So I now have a, a full roller. Okay, eventually you're going to turn the body upside down. So what I'm doing here is using a level board and then measuring the distance down to the body. And then I'll extend it up to the front and do the same thing. Then when I put the body upside down to work on the inside, I'll be able to put braces to hold it in, hold it in place so it will maintain its natural shape. So I can end up putting, starting the roll cage, there's the supplies over there, and that's coming up soon. Okay, working on rear body mounts. I've taken some two inch angle and drilled a hole through it for the Dura glass. Then I'm going to go ahead and mount these on the back side like that. Then I'll drill a hole through here, which will tie this into the body. So I have six of these to go ahead and dura glass on. And then once the body's upside down, I'll go ahead and be able to fiberglass the, over the dura glass to make sure they're good and secure. Using the laser to make sure that the body was level, I then fabricated a bar that matched the contour of the front and then I clamped it underneath and then welded supports from the frame up to the new bar and that would now hold the front end in place. I think I do something about these wheel wells. They just do not look good at all. So, basically, going to form some new wheel wells. This one's hitting on the back. I got to open that up a little bit. Now, one thing people building kits need to understand: these bodies are made out of fiberglass. That means that you can modify it to meet your own desire. So. If you're happy with the way the body is, then that's fine. And if you're not, then you can make some changes. So uh, don't be too concerned when you see that people make changes to the body because that's kind of how they want to make the make it fit for them. So I will be modifying the, the wheel wells and um, it may take me a little while to get it done, but uh, I think I'll be happy when I'm all done. But,
So after determining the proper radius for the wheel wells that I wanted, I started making the mold and started laying up some fiberglass. So we'll continue with those in the next update. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you would, and you hit the post notifications, and next time I have an update, you'll be alerted. So I appreciate it, and thanks for watching.